Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is B. I create content about planning, organization, and lifestyle. I am going to do a review today on my iPad mini keyboard case and this Apple Pencil dupe. I have had these two items for quite a while now. The Apple Pencil dupe I got back last year, 2019 sometime, so I have had that a while. And the case itself I got early 2020, so I've had this for a good five or six months. So I feel like because I use it every day and I've had it for that long that I can create a good solid review for you guys. So basically when I was looking to purchase something like this, I was doing a lot of research and to be quite honest, I couldn't find much on these specific items. I know there are videos out there with uh, reviews on this kind of stuff, but I couldn't find it on the specific item at the time. And so I just took a leap and just went and got it. Um, I got this from Amazon. I'll link it below. Both items are from Amazon. And I'm so glad that I got it. I will go over pros and cons with you. So basically, this is the rose gold one. I don't know what it, this is. And they come in rose gold, silver, and black. And it's a little blank right now, but I am having a custom graphic put on. So I just don't have it yet. And I will show you what that is. If you've seen my planner flip throughs, then you've seen this. This is the graphic that I'm going to be having put onto my case there. And I'm also going to have a honeybee put onto it because um, my nickname is B. So I will have those to put on there so it doesn't look so empty on the front side of it. But anyways, jumping in here to the review, like I said, this is the rose gold and it's on my iPad mini series five, which is the 2019 version. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go through the specs of this really quick. So I'm just gonna show you here on the edge is your on off switch for the keyboard, the pairing button, you have the charging port here for the keyboard as well. Over on the side of it, you have exposed for the speakers and the charging port for your actual iPad. Here's the back, which shows this is the mechanism that swivels. The side here has the auxiliary for your iPad, the on off switch, your camera is exposed here on the iPad. Then here you have your volume buttons and it comes back to the other side. So I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of this. So the first thing that I love about it is when you open it up, it immediately wakes your screen. So I love that because it's just like when you open up a laptop, it wakes up your screen and you're ready to go. So I'm just gonna get right in here. So I'm going to go to the side here and turn it on. I currently have my keyboard turned off. So I'm just gonna turn it on to show you. And here you'll see the lights. It's showing that I have a full battery. It's showing that it's not charging right now and that it was paired. So those are the three lights there. And you can see here, let me see if I can see. You can see right here, there's little icons to show the switches and everything in the charging port. So when you turn it on, once you've already had it paired, which is really easy to do, you just do it in settings under your Bluetooth mode. You click the pair button and it'll pop up so that you can just pair them. Once you pair it to your device, it is paired for good. You don't have to do it again, which is one thing that I absolutely love. I had another wireless Bluetooth keyboard. It was pretty old. It was like a dupe of the Apple one. And that one was so annoying. You had to pair it every single time that you turned it on. So I really appreciate that this is already paired all the time when you turn it on. Um, so the keyboard is on. So I'm gonna go into Evernote here to show you typing. So when you type, I'm just gonna type, hello, how are you? And you could just see, I'm just gonna type random letters just so you can see that there's no lag. like. It's amazing. It is so instant. I'm just holding in the delete button right now so that it's deleting everything I just typed and you can see, there it goes. Just like a laptop, there's no lag to it. So that I really love about it. Um, sometimes if you are working on it and say you 
have it open and everything's turned on but you don't do anything with it for like however long I, f I forget how long it is 10 15 minutes or so um what will happen is the stock keyboard that's on the actual ipad will st will pop up here so you know that the keyboard is no longer it's like in sleep mode so all you have to do is you would just hit any letter any key at all and give it like 10 seconds and it immediately awakens itself and then you could go back to typing and doing whatever but the sleep mode it doesn't happen for like 10 or 15 minutes after no use at all which i actually like because i forget to turn my keyboard off all the time and i carry this around in my bag i bring it to work with me i bring it everywhere so i always forget to turn it off so i appreciate that it does that because then it doesn't kill the battery because it goes into sleep mode by itself bringing me into my next pro and this is huge you guys the battery life is amazing i have had this for five six months and i've only charged it one time one time that is it and i use it almost every day and granted i'm not on it all day long every day i'm not on it typing all day long every day but i do go on it i do projects on it i check my emails i type on it and things like that and the fact that over the course of half a year, I've only charged it once is just absolutely incredible to me. So the battery life is fantastic on this. That's a huge pro and it's, it's just amazing. So next thing is, this is another one that was huge for me. I searched long and hard to find something that did this. So you're using this for an iPad. So obviously you're gonna wanna use your iPad as an actual tablet sometimes. And I don't like the kind of keyboards that are one, non-attachable because then you have to carry around two items and two i don't like when you flip your keyboard case and then your keys are what's on the bottom getting dirty getting crushed possibly getting ruined so i don't like that so i wanted something that could do exactly this and i'm going to show you it swivels it goes in a full 360 you could turn it into a tablet and now your keyboard is safely tucked inside the bottom is still the bottom here and you can use this as a tablet my ipad is set in landscape mode i don't have it on rotation because i cannot stand when my screen moves on me so i keep it like this because i use it with the cape the case all the time so you can also turn it so that the screen is backwards can you see that so that if you're doing like a presentation you can set this up if you're setting it up for a powerpoint or anything or if you're using it to show people like it's amazing. It goes complete 360. So the next thing I want to get into is the keys themselves. This keyboard is so fantastic, you guys, for me, because this is exactly what I was looking for. So there's a lot of wireless keyboards on the market that are very, I'm not sure what they call them, the style, but they're very like flat. And it's almost like you have to like, just tap down and hope that you're touching the button. I like to hear and feel that I am actually hitting the key. It drives me absolutely nuts when you can't feel that you're actually hitting the key on a keyboard. So this, the keys on this have depth. They're amazing. They actually feel like a keyboard. They have depth. You can hear the click. You can feel the click. It's like an actual keyboard. Like it's not like a flat surface. And I really like that. However, it is still compact though. It's still very portable, compact, easy to take with you. And I love that. So a few of the things that I want to touch on that might fall into the cons category, which I don't know if they are true cons because they're still kind of being put to the test is, so the first thing, the mechanism to create this swivel effect, it's held up great. And I don't have any issues with it but I cannot attest to that for the long run because like I said, I've only had this half a year. So after swiveling this so much, I don't know if that can come loose or break off. So that is one thing that could be a con and to take into consideration, but I have no issue with it. And to be quite honest, I don't swivel it that much because I use this mostly in this form. Even when I'm like creating on my Canva account and things like that, like I keep it like this and I am just like using my finger to touch the screen. Sometimes if I'm actually writing on this with my pencil here, then I put it into tablet mode. 
but for the most part i keep it like this this is why i bought the case i wanted it to be like a mini laptop to carry around me to do my projects and everything with so that is one thing to take into consideration the next thing is the keyboard it lights up really fun really cool it has three levels so you have a low medium and high and then you can also change the color so if you hold down the actual light button and then you click the up and down arrows you can go through all the colors so there's i believe seven yep there you go back to purple so you can go through all these different colors and pick whichever one that you want and then you can choose the brightness so looks really cool it's great for if you're sitting in bed and you don't have much light in your room and it's hard to see your keyboard however the one thing about this is i do notice that as i am using this and going through and i'm typing like everything seems okay but after a little while it starts to kind of like flicker so i don't know how powerful the lights are and i don't really use it the lights that much at all i actually don't really use them at all um i do have them on every once in a blue moon but then i turn them off because typically i'm not sitting in the dark using this i'm usually at a desk where it's well lit so i don't find use for the backlight but it is great if you are sitting in low light and you need to be able to see your keys better and they are fun it's nice that you have options and you have fun colors so that's just something to consider if you're somebody who absolutely needs the backlight it works and it's fun but i just don't know how long the backlight will hold up just because i do notice it flickering a little bit and it's not much that would make me not purchase this it's just that those little flickers like just make me wonder how it will hold up in the future that's all so the other thing about this is it is pretty well weighted the case itself is pretty decently dense like it's got some weight to it and pair that with an ipad you know this is pretty weighted and not any more than what a laptop is but um, it does have some weight to it however when you do open it it stands great like this but if you wanted your screen to be leaning back more you'll start to see it go like this so i do wish that the base of this was a little bit heavier towards this front part so that i could kind of have it like this like you can see it teetering and you know it's fine if it's like on my bed or something but i don't want it to fall off a table so because this shell isn't necessarily the best protection like it's a pretty nice shell but if, if this were to fall from a high surface a tall surface then i don't know what could happen to it and i don't want something to happen to my ipad so that's something else to consider however when i'm usually using this i have it pretty like it's ever so slightly bent back and i don't have any issue with it it doesn't like see like it's not even moving but it's just if you start to bend it back like this then it starts to teeter and it can go completely flat you can do this as well depending on how you're using it but um yeah so that's one thing to also consider but again i don't think that that's something that would deter me from purchasing this item i still fully think this was a great purchase and i am absolutely loving it and using it every single day so that is not something that i would you know make me say no i don't want to purchase that another thing that i just want to mention about the keyboard is because it's compact for the ipad mini there are a couple keys on here that you would typically normally would hit like shift and then hit the key to use that um, symbol or whatever it might be. But on here, if it's not working with shift because they have more icons on the key than usual, it's um, you have to use this FN button here. So you can see right down here, it's below the shift. And for instance, this here, your apostrophe, which is typically in a whole other form on a normal size keyboard, you have to hit the FN to get that because if you hit shift with that, you're just gonna get a capital O. So no big deal. It's just something that you have to get used to hitting this because we are kind of programmed to hit the shift button to get something that you see on the upper key. But in this case, you do have to hit FN, which is not a con for me. It's something that I've already gotten used to. So overall, the keyboard case itself, I would say is probably a nine out of 10 for me. I really like it. I think it has amazing pros. I think it fit all of the standards that I was looking for when it came to a keyboard case. 
and I've been using it every day. It's come in handy so many times for things and I type on it all the time and I love it. Um, you can pick one up at Amazon. When I got it, it was on sale for $49.99 or $49.95. I think they're usually a little bit more than that, but still a lot cheaper than if you get the Apple brand one. And I just think it's great. And like I said, it comes in this rose gold color. It comes in a black and it comes in a silver. So there's also different types to kind of match whatever you're going for. And it fits your iPad in great. And like I mentioned, this is for the iPad mini series five. The larger ones are gonna be more expensive. But if you have an iPad mini five, and I think you'll double, have to double check, but I think it also fits the series four, then you should definitely look into it if you're interested. It's been a great investment for me and I love it. Okay, you guys, I am now gonna go into a review of this Apple Pencil dupe that I got from Amazon. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I'll have it linked below for you guys. And this, to me, I actually tried out several of the Apple Pencil dupes from Amazon, and I ended up sending all of them back except this one. This is the one that I absolutely love. First of all, it looks like the Apple Pencil. Like, it looks a lot like the Apple Pencil. It's all white. It has the white nib at the bottom, as you can see, and it just it has the flat edge here so that it won't roll off a table. And I just feel like this looked most similar to the Apple Pencil. Uh, and honestly, I didn't care if it looked like the Apple Pencil or not. I just wanted something to perform like the Apple Pencil because I didn't want to spend $100 or more to have a pencil for my iPad that I could potentially lose and um, I do keep this in the bottom of my purse all the time. So you guys, under this little cover here, if you can see this little rubber cover, you just kind of pull it out. There is the charging port here. And the charger is the USB on one end and then the part that fits into here. I just keep it covered up. I honestly don't know if they all even come with the cover. I've seen other ones that don't even have the cover. It's just exposed, but I had this little cover and it fit in here. So I just put it in there. And again, big pro, the battery life on this thing is amazing. I've barely ever had to charge it. I've had this since last year, probably fall of last year. So, you know, maybe 10 months or so, nine or 10 months. And I've only had to charge it, I think twice. And again, I don't use this every single day. At one point I was, I was dabbling in digital planning and I was using my GoodNotes app to digital plan. And so I was using it every day. But then I just realized, as well as my family all realized, that I would be going right back to a paper planner, of course. So um, I moved back into my paper planners and stopped doing the digital. And I um, still have this though because when I am doing editing on Canva and things like that, I like to use this on the screen to touch the screen. And I also like to have it because if we're out somewhere and I don't have like paper and coloring pencils and stuff for my daughter to draw. She actually really enjoys drawing on this because she has access to every color imaginable and a pencil and she has fun with that mixing art and technology. So I enjoy having it for that reason as well. So another big pro about this is that it has the, what is it called? Technology for you resting your hand. I'm trying to think what that's called. Palm rejection, that's it. It has the technology for palm rejection, just like the Apple Watch. So when you are actually writing, you could lean your entire hand onto your screen and it won't move your screen. This will not work on your iPhone, by the way, you guys. This is only for iPads and it's for the newer ones. So the iPad mini five and then the newer larger iPads. And I don't remember exactly which versions of the larger ones, but it is listed on this, um, product on Amazon, so I'll link it below. So after it's charged, you just touch the top to turn it on like this, and you don't really have to press, it just feels your touch, and then you'll see the little blue light there comes on, and that means that it's on, and when you wanna turn it off, you just touch again, and it turns off. So I like how easy it is to turn on and off. However, I bump this all the time, so a con to this is the fact that every time I bump it, it turns on or off. So if I'm in the middle of writing, I have a habit of talking with my hands and multitasking and doing other things. And sometimes I will tap this and it'll just like turn off. And sometimes I hit it like on my shoulder and stuff. Like I just, 
I'm just always moving my hands around and doing things. So sometimes I bump it off and when I go to start writing again, it's like, oh, I have to turn it back on. And it's no big deal. It's a quick tap at the top to turn it on, but that is something to consider as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you how it actually works. So it is a Bluetooth. So you have to actually pair it just like an Apple Pencil is. So it has the palm rejection and you can see here it says disconnect Apple Pencil. That is because it thinks this is an Apple Pencil because it works like an Apple Pencil. So when it's disconnected, if I were to try to go and lay my wrist on this to draw, things you see here, things would start getting messy. It moved, it started using my hand to draw there, those lines. So if I take those away, if I put this back on, Apple Pencil, done. So now it's hooked back up. And once you hook it up, again, this will stay hooked up. You don't have to keep doing that. That is why I just turned it off to show you guys how to hook it back up. But once this is back on, now if I go on here to go and draw or anything, my hand is not pressing any of this. It's not creating anything. It's only going to take from, oops, sorry, from this actual stylus. So that is wonderful. That was a huge deal for me because a lot of the ones that are like dupes, they don't have that palm rejection. And it's a big thing for me because I rest my hand on the screen to write. So when I was actually using this to write, like to plan, I, I rested my hand all the time and it was the other ones that I tried, it, they were just a mess. So this one is great and I had to go through probably about eight of them before I found this one because they all look the same, you guys, on Amazon. like. They all have generally the same look you know you might see one with like the black nib you might see one that has um you know a different kind of way to turn it on but they're all generally the same in style and they have pretty much the same type of description so i found this one and i'm so glad that i did because this met all of my requirements so that is huge the palm rejection and being able to write so also when you're doing this um to zoom in you have to use the two fingers to pinch you can still do that and up here you can change everything if you guys use the good notes app you'll know all the features in here but i just love that this doesn't um feel my palm on the paper so the other thing about it is if you turn off that you're using your pencil you can still use it but to move things around. So now it's not writing, it's used as a tool, much like your finger if you're moving things around because I just put in the GoodNotes app and that's a GoodNotes app feature. So I'm gonna go back into the writing tool here and then I can go into any color, I can draw. I mean, I could get even like great details here. I can do a little heart, color it in. And did you guys see that? Like when I did that, I, let me show you again. You can see where the lines of the heart are and I'm gonna use my pen here and you can go right up to the edge, color it in. There's a lot of other ones that when you stick your pen down, it's not underneath the tip. It'll like start drawing like up here when your pen is down here. But this actually, wherever you put that tip, it is right under that tip. So you get precision. That is huge when you're drawing. If you like to do art on your iPad and stuff, that is huge. This pencil is amazing for that. So. That is a really big pro right there. So I absolutely love this pencil. I use it often. Like I said, even when I'm just editing videos and stuff, if I don't wanna use my finger, it's fun to navigate the page using the pencil because you can see more stuff. You can click on things more precisely. So it's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. And this was very inexpensive when you're comparing to a $100 plus price point for the Apple Pencil. This, I wanna say, was under 30 bucks. I don't remember the exact price, but it was probably around the $30 price point. And that is a great investment, I think, when it's something that you're gonna use. So whether you're into art, if you're into digital planning, if you're into doing lettering, if you're into just navigating your pages with a stylist, like I just think this is so worth it 
you'll spend $30 easily going through the really cheap stylists that don't have any precision at all that you can't do this kind of stuff with and the fact that you're getting palm rejection that's huge if you guys have not tried a stylist with palm rejection it's going to change your life i'm not even kidding you will not go back to other stylists so i am raving about this the only thing that bugs me is just that i bump the on off button all the time but again it's a quick easy just tap the top turn it back on but I absolutely love that. And this goes great with my GoodNotes app. So I just love it so much, you guys. And it's a great investment. So if you guys are interested in a keyboard case for your iPad or a Apple Pencil dupe, check out my links below to Amazon. Get yours today. They are amazing. I love them so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will like and subscribe and continue to come back. I have so many more videos already in the, the works here that I'm going to be posting in the upcoming months that I am working on editing and filming and everything right now for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Turn on that notification bell and I hope to see you all in my next video. Oh, and um, I'll link my nail polish below. I always link what I'm wearing below. So my nail polish, my Apple watch, my Apple band. And this is Essie, let me see, Mint Candy Apple. I love this one. It's so cute. But anyways, so yeah, check out the description box below and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.